Good day, everyone! I have one question. Does this picture look familiar to you? Well, if not, let's know more about this architecture. A very pleasant day to you. In this video, we will be presenting the Gate Shed Millennium Bridge. Information about Gate Shed Millennium Gate. As you can see, we have chosen the Gate Shed Millennium Bridge that is located in Northeast England over Tyne River. It is a movable bridge that is made for pedestrians and cyclists with a unique tilting action and spanning. Gate Shed Council held a design competition which drew 47 submissions from all over the world. Six teams were chosen from several qualified and invited to submit their design proposals. The bridge was constructed to rotate in a vertical plane perpendicular to the direction of travel, the fifth dimension. The bridge was built with a width of 8 meters, a length of 126 meters, the main span was 105 meters, and the height of the arc is 15 meters. The construction of the Gateshead Millennium Bridge was started in 1998 and ends in 2001. Because of its appearance, it was called the Blinking Eye Bridge. The bridge was opened to the public by September 17, 2001 and was dedicated by Queen Elizabeth II by May 7, 2002. Do you know that the Gateshead Millennium Bridge became the first bridge to receive the Sterling Prize for Building of the Year from the Royal Institute of British Architects? What made you choose the Gateshead Bridge? So, a little trivia for you guys. Did you know that 36,000 of people lined up to the bank of the River Tyne just to watch the Gateshead Millennium Bridge tilt for the first time on 28th day of June in 2001? Well, we can't blame them though because the bridge is indeed amazing. And each opening and closing of the bridge lasts four and a half minutes only. It's amazing, isn't it? Why did you choose that architecture? So, why did we choose the Gateshead Millennium Bridge? Well, it's very fascinating when you discover something uncommon and catchy design because you will be really amazed and it can make your jaw drop little. So, we chose the Gateshead Millennium Bridge because of its unique style of being a bridge because who would think that a bridge can tilt right? And also, the bridge is designed that way to clean its own meter every time it opens. Amazing, isn't it? What are the conic sections that can be seen in that architecture? The conic section that have been applied in Gateway Millennium Bridge is a parabola. It is essentially two graceful curves, one forming the deck and the other is supporting it, using an innovative rational movement. Similar to that is a slowly opening eyelid. One of the importance is the spy boat around their springing points to allow shipping to pass beneath. As what Loy said earlier, the opening and the closing operation can take as little as 4 minutes and a half minutes. As the arch lowers, the pathway rises, counterbalancing the other, and allows ships to pass through. The parabolic curves of the deck extend 105 meters crossing distance to around 120 meters, giving enough extra length to provide the required clearance above the water. The curves are exactly extended, giving enough power to come up with a deeded gap above the water. Can you show us the different angles and perspectives of the bridge? These are the pictures of the Gateshead Millennium Bridge in different angle and perspective. As you can see, we have provided pictures of the bridge for you to see its amazing structure. Remarkable, isn't it? Now, do you want to see what the bridge looks like when it opens and closes? Well, check this out.
amazing, right? Now, I want to show you what the bridge looks like at night. In conclusion, although conic section can be hard, to solve and to deal with sometimes, we are living in a mathematical world where conic sections are seen in many objects that we use in our existence. They're also on objects that we ride in and sometimes the buildings we move into. Not only do conics appear in our world, but they also help us additionally. Moreover, structure are things that are shaped as a parabola, circles, ellipse, or hyperbola be shaped that way to properly function. Conic sections are seen in mostly everything in our daily lives, and they have contributed a lot of things that allows us to live our lives. We'd like to close this presentation with the saying, The curve of life is like a parabola of project time, which, disturbed from its initial state of rest, rises and then returns to a state of repose. Like a projectile flying to its goal, life ends in death. Even its ascents and zeniths are only step and means to this goal. For enlightenment or no enlightenment. Consciousness or no consciousness. Nature's prepare itself for death. And that brings us to the end. We'd like to thank you for your time and attention. God bless us all.